My name is Karina Lubango Masi. I am an engineer one, electrical. I work in Gong Wind Farm. I've been here for the last three years. I joined Wind in May 2018 until now. My work entails service and maintenance of the wind turbines. Apart from the service and maintenance, I do uh, suggestions for upgrades, rehabilitations, and participate in any other assignment that is accorded to me, like I'm a first aider. And part of the key strengths you need, especially when you're working in a wind turbine, is you need to be a first aider. Because we are working at heights, and there are a lot of challenges when you're working at heights. All your exits are on the air, so there are some skills that come with it. Above that, we need to have the technical competence to work in a wind turbine. Wind turbine is a bit unique because it, it is a bit multidisciplinary. You know, it's a bit of aviation in it. You have a lot of mechanical, instrumentation, electrical, so you need to be an all-rounded person. Um, I thank Kenjin for the experience I've gathered because I've worked in geothermal for three years. I've worked in gas turbines for almost two years. And now this is next, my wind turbine. So all those exposures have given me a head start in understanding how this system is. It's quite different from the rest. Given that the others, everything is done on ground level. In wind, everything is done 50 meters high. Yes. And a lot of challenges that we face is the weather because you have to work in very perfect weather we have extreme weather conditions like sometimes we have mist wind we once in a while we can't work when the wind speeds are very high but overall the procedure of just getting into the turbine is just being mentally prepared because when you go up there you know you are not going to eat you start your day early until when you're done that's when you descend the challenges uh, that I face are mostly not technical, but I can say is um, just as a social human person, sometimes you feel like you're alienated from the rest. You're not getting the right groups to network with. Like when you have challenges, as a woman, I have no one I can benchmark with or interact with, not at least Kenya, not, not locally, yes. If we had forums where you, you can meet other women who have experience in wind, who go through their different sets of challenges, you probably will feel at home. The key things that motivate me are competence. I am always thirsting to know more. And the more I know, the more I realize I don't know. That's what keeps me going. I'm a curious learner and I'm a questioner most of the time. I like finding out things. How do they work? Why did it fail? How can it be fixed? How can it be done differently? That's what motivates me, competence and the confidence that you know you know your craft very well. That's what motivates me more. Oh yeah, I have those best moments. My greatest joys come when I know I've been up a turbine, I have really struggled and I hack and nail the solution. I feel good because when you come down, you're descending, you know I'm done. I don't have to go back again. Because if you don't solve a problem, that's another trip we have to make up again. And given the nature of our manual job, you have to really physically climb up. I think the greatest joy for me comes when I get solutions to problems. My word out there to other women, number one, be yourself. Let no challenges define who you are. Break those stereotypes. It's one area that really needs a keen eye. When you work with men, they need something more. The emotional intelligence that a woman brings the, on the team is very nice. It can be the gelling factor to achieving results. That understanding, that patience, and being someone who's a presenter, because if I conquer, man feels like, oh, I can't be beaten. So I will advise all women to explore the field. It's very nice. And if you set your mind to achieving it, you'll get what you want.